We'll now look at the sewer and stormwater infrastructure display settings. If you are used to looking for this under the default settings, you'll notice that it has now moved. At the top of the dialog, I'll choose the manhole type that I would like to edit. I'd choose to auto size, and then I would choose what my display should look like in the 2D and in the 3D, as well as the type of lid that I would like to use. You can change this manhole to be round or square. I can also choose to have a manhole catch pit as a lid. Auto sizing based on where the biggest link coming in or going out of the node fits within a range set up here in the auto sizing. These ranges can be custom set by the user's requirements. Additional notes can be added to your nodes. The program is giving us a warning that we need to run the analysis for the new infrastructure types to take effect and be displayed. I'll select everything and use the properties bar as a filter and we'll use the drop down menu to choose the sewer nodes. I'll then change the node type to the 1200 node type. Looking in render view you'll notice that the manholes have not updated. This is due to the analysis not being run. I'll quickly run the analysis. And I'll turn off the natural ground shading. This is so that we can view the manhole lids. You'll also see that the pipes have been trimmed up to the inside wall of the structures.